Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick video um, on my favorite fragrances. First of all, my hair is like really weird. I have like this bun going on back here and these like PC bangs in the front. I don't know, I tried to flexi rod my hair and it didn't turn out the exact way that I wanted it to. So I just put it in a bun because it was ugly. So hopefully I look cute. Anyway, but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite fragrances and just let you guys know what I've been loving. Basically my whole entire fragrance collection because I actually do have a lot of fragrances that I've never like mentioned or talked about but I do wear. So firstly, I want to talk about Scentbird. You guys know I've talked about Scentbird before. If you haven't heard about Scentbird, you're missing out on life. This is a really great subscription service. I know you guys hear about all these subscription services that keep coming out. There's always new ones, but this is one of the ones that I've tried this year that I can say I really enjoy. And it is because I am a fragrance junkie. I really love trying new fragrances. It's just the problem is the ones that I love are really expensive. I have expensive taste. Unfortunately, I find myself um, debating on whether or not I should spend a hundred dollars on a bottle of something that smells good and I'm probably not gonna wear it every single day. I mean I guess you could say it was an investment if I'm gonna keep it for the rest of my life but let me just tell you all of the fragrances that I'm gonna be showing in this video I have not used any of them up yet and I've had some of them since middle school okay middle school I never finish a bottle of of fragrance. It would only make sense for me to get just you know the little trial sizes or get um you know the free samples but the samples are like this big. When you go to Sephora or like a perfume counter or something they give you either the little paper that they spray or they'll give you like a little bottle like that big. What I love about Scentbird is that you can get a 30-day trial of your favorite fragrance. The trial size does last for 30 days however mine lasts a little bit longer because I don't use my fragrances every single day. I use Scentbird to try out my most expensive purchases that I've been wanting to make. Let me just tell you my favorite one of my favorite fragrances and this is the one that I have in here is Tom Ford Violet Blonde. I've talked about this in my first Scentbird review and as you can see, I am pretty much almost out of it. Tom Ford Violet Blonde is one of my favorites. All of Tom Ford fragrances are just so amazing to me. I love them so much. But the only problem is I don't have Tom Ford money. Okay, I'm not on Tom Ford level. I am not Beyonce. I don't, you know, I don't have just expensive $200 bottles of fragrances laying around. It makes sense to be ethical and do the Scentbird trial and that way I can have the fragrance that I want. I can smell expensive without paying the expensive money. You can put it in your purse. It's easy to find, you know, and the cool thing about this subscription service is that once you run out of this, you can get another one and put it in here and boom, you got yourself your next month's worth of fragrance. So yeah, one of my favorites is Violet Blonde. This is one of the ones that I've been using for months now and I absolutely love it. I keep it in my purse. I put it in my carry-on when I'm traveling. I do not leave the house without this. For the fall, I'm definitely gonna be getting Black Orchid because Black Orchid is another one of my favorites, but of course I don't have Black Orchid money. The current one that I've been wearing lately is Chloe Love Story. And it smells really good. It's not my favorite smell, but it's nice. It smells very feminine and girly. And I'm not a feminine girly person, but um, I do like to have these on hand whenever I do feel like, oh, I wanna feel flirty and romantic. So I definitely recommend Scentbird, you guys. I would recommend it. One of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video is because I recently could not find my Scentbird and I was looking for it and I couldn't find it and I almost cried. That means I need to make a video about it again because it's that big of a deal. I like to make perfume cocktails. Instead of just buying a perfume and then just wearing that perfume all the time, I like to buy perfumes and then mix them with other perfumes or colognes that I really, really enjoy because I like to have a multi-dimensional smell. I don't like to have just one specific scent because I feel like that's how you end up smelling like other people. And I don't like to smell like other people. I wanna smell like Vicky. What I've noticed is that I really love warm, woodsy, spicy scents mixed with sweet, citrusy scents. I have my mixer fragrances. I have four of them. And these two are by Jo Malone. And this is the Blackberry and Bay and the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It is getting dark outside, y'all. If y'all can see what it looks like outside, oh my God, it looks like death. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. 
These little guys are $60 a pop, but they are well worth it. I got these, when, when did I buy these? I bought these, I believe at the beginning of this year. I wanna say around my birthday. Um, or maybe before then. I think it was during the Christmas season when I bought these and as you can see I use them almost every day and that's how much I have left and like I said they're colognes so they are just like they're not feminine or masculine men and women can wear them. I love the wood sage and sea salt because it gives me a little woody little salty spiciness to whatever I'm wearing and then the blackberry and bay adds a really nice citrusy floral scent to whatever I'm wearing so I use these interchangeably or I'll put them together and wear them with each other. Another one that I really like to use to mix is this Atelier um, Cologne in Orange Sanguine. And this is a really beautiful orange scent. If you guys don't like citrusy smells, then you probably don't want this. But Atelier has a lot of different colognes that smell really good. And I really like this one because, it, like I said, it has a nice citrus smell to it. So it can add a nice citrus note to whatever I'm wearing. I sound like... I work at Dillard's, right? Macy's. But yeah, I really love this smell and I'm, I'm a citrus girl, so whatever I wear, I love to add a little citrus to it. And then another one of my favorites, which I am almost completely out of, is the Citron Glacé. Um, it's a Gourdman fragrance by Urban Outfitters. And this one was only $18. But I really love these little fragrances at Urban Outfitters. They have the pistachio and the rose and I don't know what the other one is, but I really, really like these. I think I'm gonna try the pistachio one next. I mean, it was a great spring and summer scent. So I'll probably retire this for the fall um, and go get the pistachio. But I really, really enjoyed this this year and um, I would buy it again. It's a really good one. I just like how citrusy it smells. It smells so good. I don't know, it's not just citrus. It's, it's I don't know what else is in it. It smell good. I like it. You guys hear this rain? Oh my God, it's raining so hard right now. <laughs> Uh. All right, next are my favorite two um, perfumes that I have at the moment. This is Prada Candy. You guys, if you haven't tried Prada Candy, you are missing out, okay? Prada Candy is an amazing scent. It's a very womanly scent. It's really warm, but it also is really, really sweet. So if you like sweet scents, this is really good for you, um, but it's more of a warm, sweet scent. I like it because it's not too... Like, you know how some fragrances smell really alcoholy? They don't really smell like something, they smell alcoholy. This is very, very potent, so, and I love it. It sticks with me all day. So this is one of my everyday scents that I love to wear. And I love to mix fruity scents with this because it smells so good. Like, this smells the best with the Atelier Orange. Um, I actually got these at the same time and it smells so good and I've used up a lot of it I think this is one of this this might be one of the ones where I actually use the whole bottle This is one of my favorites of all time alien by Thierry Mugler and This is my sexy going on a date going to a fancy event going to a formal event going to a wedding kind of smell this bad boy is the bomb Okay, thebomb.com. What I really like about this is that it's very strong. I don't wanna like walk into a room and hurt people. You know what I mean? Like I don't wanna be like, like people smelling, they're like coughing and sneezing everywhere. But I do like that this sticks, like it stays on really long. It's like one of those fragrances that you smell it and you just wanna like hug that person that you smelled. You know what I mean? This is one of those smells that you smell on somebody and you're like, oh my God, girl. And I love to mix these two together when I really want to set fire to something. These two together are like, bang. And I love this bottle. I don't know if they still make this bottle anymore, but I really love this bottle. I think it's so cute. Like it looks dangerous, like a grenade or something. I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, okay. The next favorite is by Vince Camuto. This one was actually on sale at Nordstrom Rack. Um, for like $20, $30, I believe. This is a really nice smelling fragrance and I really like the bottle. It looks very royal. It has more of a woodsy, earthy kind of smell, but it is very feminine at the same time. Um, this is not one that I wear often, but I really like how it smells a little different than everything else that I wear. But I do end up mixing it with something citrusy just to give it a little of Vicky on it. Um, it's not my all-time favorite, but I do like it for when I'm going for something a little more different. This is Gucci by Gucci. And I want to get Gucci Guilty because it's like a step up from this. This is one of those fragrances that Cameron thinks makes me smell like old woman. 
and I like to wear old woman fragrances because I find that I like to smell older than I look. It smells like a sophisticated old woman. Like it's this is what to me, this is what Miranda from The Devil Wears Prada, this is what she would wear, I feel like. I feel like she would smell something like this. And I like to mix this with Prada candy or something that's really, really sweet to give it like a youthful hint of sweetness to it. This definitely has to be layered. This is a little stronger as well, so I do find that I have to wear this if I'm going out somewhere. This is not a daytime scent. I do really like this one. This is kind of old too. I don't even know if they still make this, but my mom gave it to me, so I just wear it whenever I feel like it. This is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. If you did not wear this in high school, you probably weren't cool. Just letting you know. This was the smell that everybody wore and everybody loved it. And yeah, I mean, it's obvious because it's it smells good and it looks cute. The bottle is cute, so that's mainly why I kept this. So I think that is all. There are some that I don't own currently that I really do love. Like, I love Marc Jacobs Honey. I love um, Chanel Chance. Escada. I can't remember which Escada one I really love. But you know what I think is cool? You can go on Sephora and you can put what kind of smells you like and it can like It'll basically like curate a fragrance IQ for you so you can see which ones to purchase next. So that's kind of what I like to use. Scentbird has the same thing where you can basically figure out what smells you like and then you can cue which ones you want to get the next month and it'll just keep sending you new fragrances to try. Be sure to check out those places to do that. If you're confused about what your signature scent should be, should, signature scent should be um, that's a great way to figure that out. That's pretty much all I wanted to say so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give me a thumbs up be sure to check the description box for everything you need to know. All the information you need will be in there including what I'm wearing on my lips, what I'm wearing on my chest, what I'm wearing on my head. All of that will be in the description box. It's always in the description box. I will start putting little little special stuff in there for y'all so so yeah that is all if you guys have any questions please let me know but other than that i will talk to you guys in my next video okay bye